Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannon's Club, your local Holden Certified Service Centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online. On today's show, I bring you to Vermont, near Melbourne, Victoria, to Patterson Cheney Holden for their end of an era Holden Legends Day in this week's Classic Restos on the road. Patterson Cheney Holden is a Melbourne Holden legend and today it's a car show to celebrate the iconic Holden mark that has been sold here for over 55 years. Today is to be split into six categories. Old school chrome bumpers, Monaros, Turanas, Commodores, Geminis and HSVs. All of these cars were once sold here. It's like history repeating itself, seeing these cars gather once again. There's no doubt the Holden legend has never been stronger. Like the boat has left the pier. We all want to get on, but we can't. The upside, of course, is the thousands of classic Holdens that haven't sailed. They are the ones still with us. The owners are the grinners, and that is what today is all about. The Holden Legends. This is what it's all about. The Holden Legends here at Patterson Cheney Holden, Vermont here near Melbourne. How are you, Phil? Very well, Fletch. It's a great day today. We've got that many cars, I just can't believe it. I don't know what they've done with the stock. The stock's wheeled out and the classics have come on in. This is marvellous, fantastic. Now, Phil, you are representing the Monaro row of cars here today, right? Well, the Monaro Club of Victoria and a very large number of members' cars here today. Yes, we've got about 15 at least, we think. Phil, it's so good and so nice to see so many Monaros in one place. Well, uh, our club now has over 450 members and at least uh, 300 of those are the classic Monaros. The other 150 or so are the new models, which has actually invigorated our club. So we're very lucky with uh, Monaro ownership. We've got both the originals and the, and the new models. Absolutely. Now, Phil, there's no such thing as a bad Monaro. It doesn't matter what model Monaro that you've got. The, as I alluded to earlier, the winners are the grinners. Iconic cars. Uh, now I've got this feeling that, well, I don't believe it's ever going to go away. Now, look, I think there's, uh, there's younger people coming in now buying the, uh, the newer Monaros, in our case, and then they're looking out and finding some, uh, some of the older Monaros to add to their collection. So there's still none, uh, at least, I think, 30 or 40 years of uh, uh, enthusiasts enthusing about Monaros and, and Holdens in general. There's so much variety to the mark as well with Monaro. We have the racing accolade, and then we go into the, uh, the models that didn't race, but they, they kept that class. And that was, uh, I believe, uh, one very special thing about Monaros. And then, of course, we have the limited edition as well, which was uh, outstanding for features and styling and a class. Yes, that's right. Well, obviously behind me are the, uh, the Bathurst Monaros from HK through to uh, HG with their 350 engines. But then a little further on are the uh, HQ Monaros, which were probably a little gentler car. Uh, the car that I have uh, has got a 350 engine in it, the factory 350 LS, with electric windows and air conditioning and all the mod cons and they're just beautiful cruising cars. Yeah. There's something about the power windows and these accessories in an old car. It, they've got a totally different feeling, haven't they? Well, they have. Uh, one of the reasons for that is because they were so expensive to option on those cars. Air conditioning on a HQ Holden cost $500, 10% of the purchase price. So they were special things to have and not many people had them. What a time. And it's a time that's not going to be forgotten. Phil, thank you for your time here uh, so far this morning and uh, doing the Monaro Row proud and uh, as, uh, like I said this, this is amazing to be here it gives you shivers just to see so many Monaros in one spot uh, awesome effort good on you Phil thanks Fletch I'm Cole and this is my Jade Green GTS I've owned that car or my wife and I I should say have owned this car uh, originally in 1976 it was a six month old General Motors executive car and we purchased it from Bill Patterson's in Ringwood um, for about $6,495.
It's been the love of our life uh, ever since. We've lost it at one stage, bought it back and rebuilt it and here it is today. And um, we're just so delighted that we were able to come to Patterson Cheney today to uh, have it and it seems to me to be a full circle we've gone. We've purchased it from, uh, from Bill Patterson's and now uh, we've got it on display with Patterson Cheney. This car, uh, as my whole family will, ex would be only too happy to tell you, is, means everything to me. My wife, uh, Robin, who felt that uh, it was a good car, but uh, when she was using it as a daily driver, it did let her down a few times had a little bit of a crunching problem in the gearbox. Uh, but uh, to me, it's always been the, my favourite. It's a four speed, 4.2 litre, and uh, I just love it. These are classic cars um, that we all tend to love. We've uh, been Holden enthusiasts, and a little bit of crunching in the gearbox is no big deal to me. <laughs> now, Cole, because you've shown so much passion, for your genuine Monaro, that makes you a Holden legend. And to verify that, Holden made these special limited edition Holden Legends caps, and I'd like to issue you one as a Holden legend. Thanks, Cole. Thank you very much, Fletch. It's much appreciated, and uh, yeah, we love our Holdens. <laughs>
Thank you, Fletch. It's a, it is a real honour, and, and I'm very proud to be here today amongst all these beautiful Holden cars, and just shows you there's such a passion out there for Holden still to this day, and hope it continues into the future. It's time now for the Tirana section. How are you, Mel? Good. How are you, Fletch? Good, thank you. You having fun? Yeah, great day. What's your Tirana? Uh, I've got the purple LJ Tirana. How cool are you having that? Yeah. <laughs> How many members in your club, Mel? Uh, we've probably got in the hundreds so yeah we've got interstate as well uh, but obviously yeah we cruise together as a victorian club they've got such a following don't they they do yeah it's a it's a love i think it's wonderful we look down the row here too mel we've got an a9x right through to a hb tirana yeah. it's incredible just uh just about every model is is right here in front of us yeah I've, i do have a little bit of a yeah a little bit of a love for the hbs yeah i was going to get them as my first one so tell us mel what what do uh, the tiranas mean to you uh, I guess we could work that in with the question of uh, how old were you when you were struck by the Tirana stick? Oh, geez, oh, probably 12, I would say. Um, my first one was actually at an LC, so LC two door, that I got when I was 15. Saw it in a car yard for $300. So, oh, just talking about it before, and yeah, still see it around. So it's and there's so many stories out there too and you're watching the show and you're probably thinking yes I can relate to that. You're probably also watching too that you've always wanted Tirana and they, they are getting harder to come by now aren't they? Yeah definitely it's, it's something you've got to hang on to you, yeah you can't let go of them This is why the Holden legends will never die because the ones that are left are so well cared for now. Yeah exactly and I was just speaking to another member of our club and he said he's still actually looking for his first one he's, he's putting feelers out everywhere because you, you love them, they're part of your family. These opportunities don't come around all that often. Mel, you are a true Holden legend. And to verify that, these very rare caps, Holden legend from Holden, I'd like to give to you in appreciation of that. Thank you very much, Fletch. Really appreciate it. Thank you to Holden. <laughs> You're a Holden legend, Mel. Thank you. <laughs> With me now, CEO of Patterson & Cheney, Cameron Batali. How are you, Cameron? Oh, so good to be here, Fletch. <laughs> what a day. We're looking around us and there are people smiling from ear to ear. You must be one excited guy because your first car show here like this in the dealership, congratulations. Thank you. Um, the business has been around for 106 years, if you can believe it or not, yep. when Sheeny Moni started. And we haven't, it's taken us 106 years to get this going. When we uh, talk or when we think of Holden Legends, there's one right here. You guys go way back and it shows here today when people are coming off the streets, you've wheeled all your stock out, you've got the classics in here now and it's almost as though if we could black and white all of this in a picture, we could wind back many decades ago. Well, as a young kid growing up in the showroom in the workshop in high school, we used to work on many of these cars. The newest model used to come out and all the technicians and salespeople used to gather around so excited. How can electronic ignition be a real reality? Yeah. Now, we're without the Holton product in sales, but we're definitely here for service and parts. We're, we're really committed to the burgundy signing yes. of Holton. Yeah. Our focus is um, cars and trucks in our business. So we're very fortunate that the group has uh, many brands that we can yep. uh, move on to. Yes. But yes, when one door closes, another one opens, yeah. or you've got to open it yourself. Absolutely. Cam, as you've alluded to too, the, uh, the certified service is a very special part of your business. And of course, it's not just Holden's, but anyone is welcome here with their car f for any type of service. Oh, that's exactly right. Believe it or not, our workshop in there, we've got still got 22 mechanics. And so that's providing over 150 hours of labour a day. Yep. And we're servicing all makes and models of cars. Yep. I just wanted to also pay a very special tribute to our staff present and from the past. They are the backbone of our organisation. They continue to put in, to think about the business like it's their own and really explore and take risks in this automotive trade. We've been around for 105 years or 106. Uh, we're hoping that the Patterson Cheney Group will go on for another 105 years. We'll see you about that, Fletch. It's all right, Cam. You've been around for so long, but you, you don't look a day over 37. Oh, no, I am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cameron. All right, bye for now. What's a Holden day without a HSV section? How are you, Ron? Yeah, I'm good, Fletch. Yourself? Good, mate. Good. You're representing this row proudly. Of course, HSV, top of the banner. You've got the right shirt on. Well, if you're driving HSV, generally you put a HSV shirt on. It goes with the... 
territory? I have to say, when it came to a car with available packages, nothing really outsurpassed a HSV. Back when I was a kid, everything used to be SS because that was the Commodore. HSV wasn't around back then, but once you get older and if you're going to go top of the line, well, jump on HSV. Absolutely. Credit where credit's due. This is where uh, Holden did very, very well. Um, back to those packages, there were just so many different combinations available, so many engine specifications, uh, trim specifications, suspension packages. They, they really had it sorted, didn't they? Yeah, early days there was a lot more availability of different packages as they got refined through the years. I'm pretty sure they nailed it down to a few basic models and upgraded them from there. So once they got to the very end of the W1 up the end of the tree there, yep. hell of a car, hell of a well, car. And one back from the W1, a standard LSA at 430 kilowatts and 577 horsepower on the old scale. Insane really, but uh, it's a tremendously smooth power, isn't it? Oh, it's incredible. When you're at 100 k's and you stomp on the right pedal, you get up and go really quick without even realising it. It's kind of easy to get caught speeding if you don't watch that dial. Uh, Patterson Cheney for their first show really have done an incredible job. Jim Emmons running around here today as well and uh, a lot of work with him and his team to get this show for today. It takes an astronomical amount of work, uh, as any uh, event organiser knows. Yeah, I organise a few car shows for the car club, just the amount of work behind the scenes you do just to get you know, 15, 20 cars to a show, let alone trying to organise enough for all the different brands. You know, it's enough trouble on my plate for bits and pieces, but for what Jim and the boys have done here today, yeah, a lot of work. I think we started a month ago about trying to organise to be here today, so you know, credit to them. Ron, thanks for turning up today, mate. It's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, I'd like to give you something. And, and this is from Holden, uh, limited edition Holden Legends cap. Now, you are a Holden Legend. You are worthy of this uh, cap from Holden. So take that and enjoy that, Ron. Congratulations, mate. Thank you very much. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. They may not be making the classic Holden anymore, but the legacy lives on. You can still have a Holden certified service using genuine Holden and AC Delco quality parts at over 180 centres across Australia. Go to holden.com.au to find your nearest centre. Book your Holden in, maintain the pride. And if you have a classic, it just has to be insured with Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote and a chat and have a discussion for the policy and premium that may suit you best. And the Shannon's Club awaits you. For more information as to how to sign up and become a member of the Shannon's Club, visit shannons.com.au. Six big categories here today at Patterson and Cheney Holden, the end of an era, classic Holden day. How are you, Joe? Very good, thanks, Fletch. How are you? Good, thanks, mate. Now, you're representing the chrome bumper section, correct? That's exactly right. Chrome bumpers all the way. How cool is this? We've got our classic older Holdens here, which are just glorious behind us. Joe's got this beautiful FE sitting here. Across there, we've got Statesman's. We've got panel vans, Sandman's, a Holden, a Holden one tonner. You name it, we've got it all. <laughs> uh, again, it's one of those things where we've got so many classics in one spot, and it's just so beautiful to see. It is. So we've got the 48 215 chrome bumpers. You could argue to say it goes up to the H, H era. But uh, there's a Brian, lovely Brian over there. There's an X2 HR, all chrome bumpers, Tiranas, all lovely cars on display. I think there's 88 cars here on display. When we look at these cars though, Joe, Holden, boy, didn't they make some, eh? Oh, they did, and the array of colours. You know, the, uh, the greens, the pastel greens and the pinks. Uh, you know, it's hard fetched to find something more in the later period of those colours, but um, I took a photo earlier on and it just looked amazing with the array of colours. Joe, tell us behind us here, this beautiful FE from 1956. Quick story there. Yeah, so this came from Queensland. It's a very rare uh, model. It was the first introduction of the, uh, of the wagon. Uh, it's a standard. Uh, still got the standard material. And believe it or not, you may or may not believe me, but it's only done 30,000 miles, so it'd be hard-fetched to find anything lower than that. 
Joe, I want to thank you, mate. You're a passionate guy. We could talk to you for a lot longer. And uh, love what you've got here behind us. And you make the Holdens proud. You're talking on behalf of all the owners here that have turned Chrome up in, in the Chrome Bumper section. Love it. Mate, you are a Holden legend. And because of that, uh, from Holden wow. uh, and myself, please accept this Holden Legends cap. Thank you. Limited edition from Holden. It's yours and you deserve it. Good on you, Joe. Thank you, Fletch, and I love your work. Thank you, mate. All the best. Take care. Okay, moving on through. Last but of course not least, we have our group of Commodores in the next category. How are you, Dave? Fantastic, Fletch. Thanks very much for coming. That's okay. Thank you, guys, uh, for making this a very special day for Patterson and Cheney. Thank you. No, happy to be here. It's been a great day. Bit of a range of Commodores here turned up. I think we've done really well. I think it's representational of every model built, so I think they've done an excellent job, yeah. Just quickly, we've got a very special car just behind us. Happens to be yours. What's the story there? Um, I've owned the car for nearly 20 years. It's a, uh, a white VH Group 3, one of 90 built. Um, I've had the car, bought the car from the original owner um, and uh, treat it with a lot of love and care and it, it hasn't done a lot of Ks, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful car, a great example of that, that particular model build, yeah. Good on you, Dave. No, it's uh, a beautiful example. Um, it's great to see these cars turn up because, as I just mentioned, uh, it's quite a range here as well. And uh, look, you know, the, the last of the breed, so to speak, and um, getting out to car shows now, once upon a time, well, this goes for all cars, I guess, but of late model cars, uh, they were considered exactly that, but now they're turning up for car shows. Well, they are, and I think there's still a huge interest in the Holdens, and, and, and I think everyone identifies with a particular model Holden, and the Commodores hold a, a pretty special place in most people's hearts, and uh, everyone's got a war story, yep. something they own, something they wish they kept, something they didn't, um, me, something I kept. Yeah. Um, but uh, no, look, it's, uh, it, it's great. It's a, it's a great community all up, I think, the Holden people. They all appreciate, no matter what model or build, they love them. Good on you, David. Well, there's no doubt about it, you are a true Holden legend, and Holden acknowledges that, so there's been a, a limited edition of these really cool Holden legends caps made, and uh, I'd like to give you this oh, well, on behalf of much. myself and Holden uh, to verify that you are a Holden legend. Good on you, Dave. Well Good done, on. mate. Thanks, Fletch. Thank you very much for having me. One incredible way to round off this classic Holden day at Patterson Cheney is the introduction of the Patterson Cheney Raw, which means that every person here on the asphalt is going to get into their cars, start them up and rev them for 30 seconds. That, my friends, is going to be the Holden Raw, in tribute to this iconic brand. <laughs> Here we go, the man we blame. I've been trying to get this guy from 6 o'clock this morning. It's now 10 to 8 at night. Can't get him, but i got him now. Jim Emmons, the organiser of this fantastic day. Well done, Jim. Thanks, Fletch. What do you reckon? Fantastic. For a first-off car show here at Patterson Cheney Holden at Vermont near Melbourne, Victoria. Mate, well done. It's, you've had a great attendance. The, yep. the energy's been fantastic. Everybody's been getting into it. Great variety of vehicles have uh, turned up. Uh, really made the mark proud. That's right. Um, basically, the idea came about when, um, you know, we, we wanted to keep uh, the flame of Holden going. So even though Holden have pulled out of the new car market, um, we at Patterson Cheney Holden decided to, you know, um, put together a show just to say people we're still around. And, um, you know, the people that have turned up are so passionate about the brand. And we've just got great exposure just through this car show. So mate, I think it was a great idea. And as you can see, it's been a great day and a great turnout. Also, too, the, the certified service part about it is very interesting with Holden because that's still continuing. And so it's not all dead and gone. That's right, Fletch. Our service department is still going great guns. They're at the rear of the building. Our parts department is across the road. Uh, and sales of parts are just down behind service. So basically, Patterson Chini is not going anywhere. We're up the front, we're the face of the business, and we've got used cars still selling strong. And I'll tell you what, these Commodores, they're just holding their ground now, so they are going up in value. So um, Patterson Chini, for the moment, is here to stay. So. And it's good to see too because the, they recycle as well. You've got, you've got your diehards that will never let them go and then not so. You've got your guys that keep these cars for a couple of years and then move them on. They move them on, there's the next opportunity for somebody else. Correct. So basically, you know, if 
I think the restoration side of things with Holden um, is is just nuts. So it, it's just gained a lot more momentum now that uh, the new car side of things have closed down, and uh, a lot more people are starting to you know look look for that old Holden and give it a bit of love and uh, bring it back to condition like these cars here. Yeah. I mean, for example, look at that green statesman. It's just. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a nut and bolt restoration, and that's that's what's happening. It's a picture in the paddock, isn't it? It certainly is, Fletch. Um, with the servicing, just before we do let you go, Jim, and there's yeah, yeah. something that I've learned as well. Yep. Uh, with the strength of uh, of the Holden servicing continuing, yep. it's not just Holden. I mean, you welcome any car for a service as well. Well, pretty much our service department. I mean, ideally, yeah, you know, we we still got the Holden signs there, so we want to keep servicing all the uh, the loyal Holden owners. But look, at the same time, we're happy to service any any mainstream type car. So, Jim Emmons, it's been a pleasure. Thanks, Fletch, and I appreciate you coming down from New South Wales. And um, yeah, so who knows? We might be here again next year. All right, mate. And if not, this one was a hit. Good on you, Jim. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. Well, how cool has this been? A full credit to Jim Emmons and the team at Patterson Cheney Holden for their end of an era classic Holden car show here at Vermont near Melbourne in Victoria. I hope you've really enjoyed this week's show. And until next week, no matter where you're watching Classic Restos from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannons, where you can sign up to be a member of the Shannons Club, your local Holden certified service centre, Pace Farm the Enjoyable Egg, and Heron Forbes Machinery House, where you can buy online.